Greetings. Yeah. Uh, I've been out there in the misty morning, hopping across the pineapples, doing the misty morning hop, uh, picking more uh, slips. Got more slips here. Uh, now these would be the ones for mailing. Okay. Uh, get some idea. They'd be anywhere between maybe that big to about that big are uh, the ones that go in the mailboxes for people in the mainland uh, and then otherwise uh, if you're here on the island and you're looking for pineapples um, I right now I don't have hardly any tops left okay we'll be waiting for the crop to come in and ripen before I have m much for more tops but I do have uh, suckers from the base okay um, I call these basil suckers but whatever you want to call them I don't care uh, but these come off the bottom of the plant there's usually a couple of them they're larger they tend to have a, a bend here uh, at the stem they're a little harder to plant just a bit uh, some of them have a pretty good size log on the bottom depending on how old they are I have uh, uh, basil suckers out in the field in piles from uh, thinning last fall uh, that are good too uh, they're even bigger <laughs> yeah uh, big massive things that have chunks of root that long on the bottom of them or trunk like it's a trunk um, those trunks actually can be cut and put on the surface like a potato and they will sprout more tops that will come off of them and you can actually take a piece of trunk and make three or a half dozen uh, sprouts to use from one otherwise you just take one of these put it in the ground and uh, these will actually grow quite quickly they uh, um, they're a faster part of the pineapple uh, it, it's totally first come first serve you get here what I got is what I got this morning if you happen to show up and you're looking for stuff on an island I don't know just off the top of my head it looks like I got about 30 of them back there maybe probably about 30 pieces underneath the coffee tree uh, that I can sell you um, you can use my phone number 808-968-6148 uh, and you can give me a jingle and if you tell me hey i'm coming over i'll be there in an hour and i'll say ah it looks like i got maybe 30 or 40 of them here i'll hold them for that one hour if you don't show up in an hour they're going to the next guy it's totally first come first serve the first guy that gets to me with money in their hand is the guy who gets however many pieces i have here the ones i sell on the island are too big to put in boxes and ship that's basically what it boils down to so that's what i sell here and i sell it here a lot cheaper than what i'll put in boxes and ship to the mainland okay that was one set of questions i got from folks here on the island so you got my phone number there's a pile sitting here behind me if you get on that phone tell me you're getting here in an hour you can have <laughs> otherwise whoever gets here first gets them um and there'll be more they keep coming out of the field i just don't have any specific number at any specific time that's it uh here now i had people who had purchased the uh, uh the pineapple slips from me uh you know within the last couple of years and now they are starting to get fruit and i have people emailing me and asking me bill how do i tell when the fruit is ripe well that ain't so easy to do the reason i say this is because my experience with this fruit is it is one of the harder pieces of fruit to decide when it's ready to pick it uh, but it's also apparently different in the way it ripens on almost every part of this island mm -hmm. i'm about as high up the mountain as you can go and still raise decent pineapples you can go a little further but you get too far up and this is not a crop anymore uh, and so up here mine have to have this emerald looking blush over here on one side of the fruit they must have it and then they must have a nice brown golden looking blush on the other side of the fruit generally the part of the fruit turned down towards the dirt is the part that's going to be kind of emeraldy looking and the part pointed up towards the sun is the part that's going to be nice and golden looking 
if the fruit is completely golden and yellow from top to bottom in this environment, it's spoiled. The fruit has no acid hardly, and so the sugar in it just turns into vodka overnight. Uh, now I have friends down the mountain uh, who raise the same pineapple and in fact Joe Hewitt is using the genetic material from my farm to raise pineapples on his farm and his pineapples come out yellow. Yeah, Joe is close to sea level. He's in, in Hilo. Um, it's much warmer down there and in Joe's environment Pine, those pineapples can turn uh, yellow and still be perfectly good. He brought me some. Uh, they're good. I have somebody else up in Hakalau who raises uh, uh, this white pineapple. Their pineapples can be left to go full yellow at that place in Hakalau. Uh, it's all I know as far as the elevation or anything else about that particular site. But I've just seen those pineapples. Um, here we can't do that. No, <laughs> if I let the pineapple get that far along, it's vodka, <clears throat> all right? So for all of you who asked me, when do I pick it? Uh, and I told you, well, it might take you a few years to figure out. <laughs> yeah, uh, it might take you a few years to figure that one out. <clears throat> um, it must have some color. There must be some color, okay. How much color? Well, it depends on where you're at. Try your nose, you know? This pineapple right here, if you can get down to the part of the ground, it has a nice pineapple-y smell. But it's not over the top, because when it starts to go over the top, it still smells like a pineapple, but it smells like pineapple wine. So, um, there is that one. Now, um, I had at least one other person uh, ask me about the color of the foliage. Uh, I believe they said they were well, they were somewhere where it gets real hot. Uh, and maybe it had gotten up to 95 degrees, I think is what they told me. And uh, they were believing that the reddish color that showed up in the leaves of their pineapples indicated the pineapples were getting too much sun or too much heat. Uh, that, well, uh, you know. I'm over here on a camera. They were on an email. I'm nowhere near their pineapples, and I, I did request some good ph photography. I might get further with it. But um, the Hilo pineapple naturally has red in the green foliage. Okay. Um, let's see how. Eh, what the heck? I think y'all can. You can see that there. Maybe that there's that there's a reddish cast. Okay, um, the question is not whether there's red on one of these pineapples. Red is fine. There's nothing wrong with red. Okay, it's whether it's green. <laughs> okay, if the pineapple is nice and green, but it has a red cast, that's perfect. That's what they do. Um, now, if the pineapple is here, this one's a good one. Uh, is a little more yellowish looking. This is not yellow, but it's a little, little bit chlorotic looking. They see all the red. Can you make it out? Hmm? Here's another one. It's not quite as chlorotic, but it's got a lot of red, right? There's red in this foliage here. Um, these are actually fine. There's nothing wrong with these. Now they do look a little less green all right here um here is a nice green one see very very green not quite so green when they're really green they don't show the red color as much um as they get a little pale maybe because of lack of fertilizer the red color becomes rather pronounced but if the pineapple is yellowish looking and it shows red, you'll see more red on a yellowish looking pineapple because the green kind of hides it a little bit, but the yellow doesn't. And so it stands out if your pineapple runs out of food. And that's probably my first guess. Any folks out there having problems with red leaves on a white pineapple, 
I think you underfed and mostly it's nitrogen probably that was lacking depending on what time of the cycle with the fruit and, and the flowers or whatever it may not help you uh, at this point uh, you know this is something you want to address from the get-go and keep it up rather than allow them to turn yellow and then try to fix it you'll just end up with small fruit uh, if that happens now that would be the first thought second thought is that drought might bring red out in the foliage as the plant stresses again it's usually because there's a reduction of chlorophyll but if it was drought you would probably see foliage burns okay yeah the, the, the tips especially in the margins of the leaves would show burns but it's possible if it got really dry on a particular day you might have large panels on broad pieces of leaf you know at the arch or something where the Sun literally did cook the tissue and killed it um, because of the lack of water on one particular day that's possible uh, tends to be more localized and also comes along with burning you'll see burning of the plant um, so lack of nitrogen possible um, a lack of nitrogen possible drought um, otherwise uh, if the plant is quite green and you see a lot of red that's the way they look <laughs> okay uh, yeah they have red in them and so that you don't worry about that's good uh, and so I'm not sure you know which of the reds that the person was looking at um, but yeah that's yeah red is natural on the fruit or on the pineapple ah yes and the one thing i also forgot and that is that um there are some states of the union that are uh, in my opinion overly picky about these things and so i can ship to 46 states with these pineapple slips i cannot ship them into california arizona texas or louisiana well, they cannot legally be sent in there we used to be able to carry these pineapples into california we used to be able to do that and then one day somebody got down at it and said oh no that's not the dull pineapple if it's a dull pineapple in a nice dull cardboard carton with hula girls on it yeah you can bring them but no you can't bring them pineapples that you bought in the farmers market yeah it's the way it goes so uh that's important right there uh well uh, that's most of what i got to say about it now again uh, this i'm doing this on my on my own and we have a lot of pineapples out here and there's a lot yet to do okay uh, <clears throat> there'll be a whole lot more to come some of the plants haven't even produced pineapples yet and so you know a as we move through the year i'll be having more tops from the fruit there'll be more slips uh you know and, and and we'll be roguing older basil suckers and stuff like that over time it's just that if you contact me and i tell you yeah, i sold them all out yesterday that doesn't mean i sold them out today <laughs> it just means right now i'm out but i will be continuously going back and forth from the field as i have the energy to do it and i'll be pulling things in here and organizing them so uh you know just stay in touch keep asking best i can tell you you know uh that's the best i can do for you yeah but I, I i have what i have aloha i'll hang loose <laughs>